financial results in 2020 were shaped by the COVID-19 pandemic that forced governments to order severe mobility restrictions and social distancing across the world. Under these circumstances, Ferrovial managed to generate a strong activity cash flow, ending the year with a net cash position close to 2 billion euros. Key to this performance was the strong showing of construction, especially Budimex, that did well in all its lines of business, construction, real estate, and waste management. Services also contributed positively, thanks to working capital improvements, resilient performance of waste management in Spain, and defense services in Amy. Dividends from infrastructure projects reached 458 million euros, lower than in 2019 due to mobility restrictions. Financial results were most affected by COVID-19 in the airports division. Travel bans forced operations to engage in major cost and capex reduction initiatives. These efficiency initiatives mitigated the impact, but could not avoid depreciation and financial expenses, taking the group results into negative territory. According to the regulatory framework, Heathrow has asked the regulator to restate the regulated asset base in an amount that would ensure the investment is recovered and also receives a minimum return. The length of the pandemic situation remains uncertain, and managing a strong liquidity position to reap growth opportunities that could arise is key. This led the board to set shareholder remuneration at 377 million euros. Looking forward beyond the pandemic, mobility patterns will probably change. Our assets have long durations and are a key part of the transport infrastructure network in thriving areas like Dallas, Fort Worth, and Toronto. Economic and population growth will put pressure on networks with limited capacity, and our roads should help to ease the strain. Our airports as well are ready for their recovery once air travel is widely allowed again. Let's hope the whole situation is put behind soon. Thanks and good health to all.